Let's take a look at some of the accessories that are used inside our hydraulic cylinders. This one in front of us here is a piston, and in the piston are what are called piston reliefs. Normally, when a piston bottoms out in either direction, the pressure would continue to build until system pressure was reached and the relief valve would then open up. We all know sending pressure over the relief creates a lot of heat. And so what we also know is that when a piston is at the end of its travel, it requires pressure to stay there, not flow. And so what these piston reliefs actually allow to have happen, if this were to bottom out, let's say moving or extending out, so this would be actually on the retract side, would come this way, as soon as it made contact with the housing. So the pressure would be causing this to retract and we'd see this little stem stick out. That would be very normal. And then at the end of its travel, what would actually happen is the piston would make contact with the end of the cylinder. And when it does that, at the very end of its stroke, it's actually going to push this little piston back. As it pushes that piston back, it's actually going to create inside here a pathway for a small amount of oil that was acting on this side to sneak through the piston itself and be sent back through the directional control valve, back through the oil cooler, and back into tank. So what this looks like on the inside here is that we have a small cylinder cut inside a bore of the piston. So as the pressure on this side is used to retract the oil, retract the cylinder, what we can see is that it's machine surface on machine surface sealed right here. When we get to the end of the travel, contacting the end of the cylinder bore, this seat is lifted off and the oil passage is able to get through this small clearance here, across, around this piston, and get to the other side. And so what that means is that if you have piston reliefs at the end of their travel, at the end of the cylinder travel, you are actually connecting the loaded side to the drain side. So the pressure side of the cylinder to the drain side of the cylinder. And the only purpose for that is to allow for the cooling of the oil. And so let's say you had 20 gallons per minute pushing on the back side of this piston, you may only allow three or four gallons per minute across this piston relief. And the reason why you would allow that three or four gallons per minute is so that it's not going over relief valve creating heat and it's able to go back through the oil cooler, get cooled, and go back into the reservoir to be reused again.